Welcome back. This is chapter 6. Expert detectives. And now I'm going to explain passage number 3rd to you. So, Ramesh says he's not very particular about what he eats. So, Ramesh informed him that he was not choosy. He took whatever was provided to him it's always the same food and the menu had been the same always every time it was the same menu uh, two chapatis some dal and a vegetable so two chapatis some dal and a vegetable was what he was provided every time and he never complained about uh, the food Mr. Nath pays cash and tips well. Besides this, he always paid in cash. Besides giving a nice tip to Ramesh, that is, that is, he was always paid in cash. Ready cash was there with him and he would always pay in hard cash and uh, would also give him tips Ramesh told me something very strange Maya and then uh, he informed Ramesh informed something very peculiar something very unusual about Mr. Nath seven added almost every Sunday he carries two lunches to Mr. Nath's room and the same man is with him each time okay so he provided some extra information besides his fooding or, or his food habit or say the menu that he was provided so what he informed or he here informed that or there came a man to his place to his room every Sunday and every Sunday he carried two meals two meals means two lunches here not two meals but two lunches uh, were taken to his room every Sunday and uh, it was the same man always every Sunday it was the same man coming to his his room and both of them taking lunch together his tall fair stout and wears spectacles so about this guest of mr. Nath he informed here that he was tall he was fair in complexion his complexion was fair he was stout very strong well built and he wore spectacles he wore glasses Ramey says his visitor talks a lot unlike mr nat who hardly speaks and this visitor talked a lot which was which was not the case with mr nat mr nat hardly spoke well then Nizad, i told him now, Maya congratulated, complimented, commended him, saying you have done a good job. Now that we've made some progress with our inquiries, uh, we'll have to sort out all the facts like expert detective so that we can trap the crew. So now she uh, suggested him that well we have made a good progress that is a good progress had been made into this matter into uh, this uh, case now we have to short out all the facts now that they had to short out arrange all the uh, facts in proper order like expert detective professional detective so that or uh, they might trap the crook the criminal here how can we do how how you 
to go on, Maya. Seven sighed. How can you possibly imagine he's a crook? He looks so ordinary. Now he was quite uh, say puzzled. Not only puzzled, but he was quite irritated. Seven was irritated. He said, "Well, how can you go? How do you go about a case? How can you allege? How can you claim that a person is a crook? How you imagine? How you uh, can possibly think that he is a crook? He is a criminal. He looks so ordinary. He looks very ordinary." Criminals can look quite ordinary, smarty, I retorted. Did you see the picture of the Hyderabad housebreaker in the paper yesterday? So she retorted quite, uh, say, immediately. Maya answered back, saying criminals can look quite ordinary. And then she provided some evidence some proof of it and then said he uh, that there appeared a picture of Hyderabad housebreaker that is a criminal a robber was there uh, a robber uh, that is broke in entered a house in Hyderabad and he took he too looked quite ordinary quite plain and his picture appeared there in the newspaper and she said did you not see that picture it looked like any man on the street and he looked quite ordinary like any other man on the street Nisad looked doubtful still Nisad was not satisfied he was not convinced the monsoon broke the next day the next day started the monsoon that is rain started the next day dark clouds accompanied by blinding flashes of lightning and roaring rolls they rose up thunder burst with all their fury flooding the streets with a heavy downpour so next day started the rain monsoon so there were dark clouds and they were accompanied associated by blinding flashes there were flashes lightning thunder everything there burst with all their fury and they were of uh, quite threatening flooding the streets with a heavy downpour and they flooded the streets with heavy rain school was to have a reopen after the summer holidays but no traffic could move through the flooded roads and there was an unexpected holiday since uh, the there was the school was to reopen after the summer holidays that is the school was due to open in a day or two uh, two time that is uh, in a day or two the school was going to open after the summer vacation but they started the monsoon and since the uh, the traffic movement was not possible so the unexpected holiday came in was declared i thought i'd spend the time usefully maya said that i thought that we will spend the time we would spend the time usefully